Race Analysis, presented by Matt Rouse of the Serial Disease Laboratory in St. Paul, Minnesota, produced by the Durable Rust Resistance in Wheat Project. Hi, my name is Matt Rouse, and I'm going to demonstrate the methods of race analysis used by scientists at the Serial Disease Laboratory in St. Paul, Minnesota in the United States. Now, our hope in this demonstration is that you will be able to analyze races of stem rust. The specific techniques and methods that I'm going to demonstrate are unique to our lab. Depending on where you are, you might modify these techniques in order to fit your resources and also your environment. But the overall concepts and processes for race analysis are the same no matter where you are. So first I would like to describe what race analysis is. And race analysis is simply the characterization of an isolate of stem rust on a differential set. And what I mean by a differential set is specifically here the North American stem rust differential set that has 20 different lines. Those differentials are planted into these five pots shown here. And so each of these pots has four of the differentials planted um, in one pot. And what a differential is, is a monogenic wheat line. And it's monogenic be because it has one gene, specifically one stem rust resistance gene. So, so Having a monogenic line allows us to see the reaction of a single gene in a wheat line. And this will allow us to determine the race of stem rust accurately. Scientists practice race analysis to determine the range of pathogenic variation in a specific region. It is also used to screen for resistance in cultivars. To confirm that altered host responses are due to race changes, to build a collection of races for use in research, and to understand the mechanisms of variation. Now the whole point of um, inoculating these differentials with rust isolates and screening them is to discriminate between different races of stem rust. And so as an example of that, I would like to show these two trays. And so in each tray, the 20 differentials are planted. And when you look at this particular tray, which has been inoculated with race QTHJ, which is a race of stem rust, when you look at the monogenic line with SR9E, you can see that the rust development is not very severe. And so there are not very large pustules being produced and not very much rust. So the reaction between this isolate of rust and this line is a low reaction. Now in contrast to that, when you look at this tray, which has the same 20 differentials, if you look at the same line with SR9E, this time the leaves have very large pustules. And so you can see that um, the reaction between this isolate of rust and this line is a compatible interaction. So it's a high reaction. So this tray has been inoculated with a different race of rust than this tray. So the whole point is to see these differences. Now when we characterize a race, we're looking at the reaction to all 20 of the different differentials. The process of race analysis begins with a collection of rust from the field. This collection is then inoculated onto a plant that is a known susceptible line to rust, like line E. From this plant, a single pustule isolate is collected, or a few single pustule isolates, which are then increased, collected, stored if necessary, and inoculated onto a differential set. Using this differential set that has been inoculated with rust, the reactions are then phenotyped. Based on these phenotypes, the race can then be identified. We will now discuss each of these steps in detail. 